Simply plug the cable into the target's computer, press one button on your phone to load the script, let it execute on their desktop, and now all of their Wi-Fi passwords are stored to your cloud. Let me show you how it's done. The Universal Serial Bus, or USB for short, is a technology used to connect computers with peripheral devices. First introduced in 1996, the USB standard was developed by a number of American companies as a simpler way of connecting hardware to personal computers. A USB port represented a standardized way to connect a wide range of devices while offering significant advantages in speed over other connection types. As for any technology, there are always people out there looking for a way to manipulate it, a way to turn it into a weapon to advance their position in the cyber war. USBs are the most commonly used cables by the masses. Weaponizing one would be paramount in the hacker's arsenal. The rubber ducky was one such device that accomplished this some years ago. There have been leaps and bounds in the technological advancements of these devices since then. Today, we will be talking about the OMG cable. Created by an inventor named Mike Grover, aka MG, this cable is handmade and tailored to look and feel exactly like the cable your target already has in their possession. The power and capabilities are extensive. This cable is built for covert field use with features that enhance your remote execution, stealth, forensics evasion, all while being able to quickly change your tooling on the fly. A Wi-Fi transmitter and receiver that operates as a wireless access point is embedded into it, allowing you to access it wirelessly and remotely deploy payloads to a target computer out of sight. The cable software transforms the firmware of the USB device so that it appears as a keyboard to the operating system. The OMG cable allows you to immediately inject malware code into a computer without the possibility of being detected. Keystroke injection payloads are transmitted out of the USB-C connector. When not transmitting payloads, it passes data just like a standard USB 2.0 cable, and the OMG implant stays undetectable to the host. USB-C mobile attacks are another included feature. Plug just the USB-C end into a smartphone or tablet and take control. It also functions as a fully passive USB keylogger capable of storing up to 650,000 keystrokes. The keylogger was specifically built to be used against full speed USB keyboards with detachable cables. These are especially dangerous since most antivirus and malware scanners usually have no way to access the firmware on the USB device and cannot protect the computer. Over the years, I've accrued a small arsenal of similar devices, but none that reach this level of stealth and practical application. To put it in perspective, you can make your own similar bad USB using a DigiSpark board with USB interface and another board that comes with an ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip. Or you could use a Raspberry Pi Zero W with a USB header running the Pawn Pi software. Mike Grover had the ingenuity to fit all the necessary components into a USB cable. As for the other devices here, I have the Wi-Fi Cactus. It's similar in that it also has a USB interface with a Wi-Fi access point, however, the software running isn't as well maintained or user friendly, and there isn't nearly as big of a dedicated community contributing to it. The closest device I have to competing with the OMG cable is the Malduino, made by Satonic. It has both a USB A and C connection, and the software is near as brilliant. It is just not quite as stealthy. Getting someone to plug a USB device into their computer is much more difficult than a phone charger. The Bash Bunny, however, is not quite in the same class, but I thought I would mention it here. 
It is not just a USB drive, but a fully functioning Linux computer capable of running scripts, just not possible on any of the other devices. To include compromising a locked machine, capturing credentials, exfiltrating loot, and planting backdoors, or to perform vulnerability scans. It also comes with dedicated storage, so exfiltrating files from the target computer couldn't be easier. So now, let's take a deep dive together and look at some of the scripts I've written so you can see the capabilities of this device. The first thing we need to do is plug in the OMG cable into the target's computer. This will power the device on and turn on the wireless access point we need to access it remotely from our phone. Once you're in the phone, you need to make it over to the settings tab. Click on connections, go to Wi-Fi, turn it on, and look for the OMG cables network. Go down to it, select it, and enter the password. For this demonstration, I conveniently made the password, password. Now, once you're completely connected to the cable's wireless access point, you wanna make your way over to the browser and go up to the address bar. You're going to be going to 192.168.4.1. This is gonna bring you to the web server that is hosted on the OMG cable. From this point, it's just a matter of loading up one of your pre-configured scripts and executing it onto the target's computer. This is the format for all of the scripts I have stored on the cable itself. Keep in mind, this cable essentially pretends to be a keyboard and enters inputs at lightning speed. First, we have the GUI R, which is telling the cable to press the Windows key plus R. This will open the Windows run box. Next, the string command will type everything after it into the box and then it will type enter to execute it. This first portion of the command will open a hidden PowerShell window, while the second half of the code will do an IWR or invoke web request to the HTML link provided to download a specific payload from my Dropbox cloud storage. It will save it to the temp file directory and execute it. I just changed the HTML link out to select from my different payloads I want to execute. So again, the script will open the run box and enter the command to download my payload from Dropbox and execute it. The PowerShell window will open for just a split second. Then whatever information my payload grabbed will be sent to my Dropbox cloud storage. In this case, I grabbed all of the stored Wi-Fi networks and passwords. And yes, all of these passwords are temporary ones for this video. But you can see if I open my network settings, these are indeed the networks I recently connected to. That last payload was just for demonstration purposes to help you understand the process. Now I want to show you a couple of the payloads I've written myself. All of these payloads are available on my GitHub page for anyone to use. That link will be in the description. This first one that I'm going to show you is a bit of a troll payload. I designed this one to be used against those call center scammers just to mess with them. It will be executed just like the one before it in the run box but this time it will grab a little more information. Okay, we're gonna go into my Hack5 submissions repository. We're gonna look at this troll. Uh, this is the executable, just like before for the cable itself. We're gonna go into the actual payload. Now in this payload, we're gonna go ahead and start off by grabbing the name of the person associated with the Microsoft account. We're going to grab their public IP address. We're going to find out how many days it's been since the last time that they set their password. And then finally, we're going to grab all their networks and Wi-Fi passwords. Then we're going to generate a BMP file. This will be an image of all the information that we just gathered. And then finally, we're going to take that image and we're going to set it as their wallpaper just to kind of troll them. So let's run the script on our phone like before. Execute the code in the run box and now their wallpaper will change with all of their information out in the open. Now if you noticed, a file was generated on their desktop. 
This is actually the image we generated to use as their wallpaper, as you can see. I also took this opportunity to leave behind my signature. If you open the image in Notepad, you will see all the gibberish binary output. However, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, I use steganography to leave a little something for them. While that last payload was mostly funny and just to laugh at the expense of a tech support scammer, the actual capabilities of this device are nearly endless. So if you're not just trying to get a reaction out of someone, and if your goal is to actually get as much information from the target's computer as possible, what would that look like? Just how much information can truly be obtained from the victim's computer? Allow me to show you. This next script was originally written by Simon Gachning and Danny K. I made some modifications to grab a little extra information and make it compatible to use on the OMG cable, as well as adding the ability to exfiltrate all of the gathered information to your Dropbox cloud storage, as you've seen before. Let's get into the demonstration. So again, we are going to use the run box to download our payload and execute it. The PowerShell window will open for a split second. Finally, all the information we gathered will be exfiltrated to our cloud storage. Let's see what we were able to get. Because I need to blur out some of the information that is going to be presented, I'll be going through the file via a series of images. The information we have gotten a hold of will aid us in future attacks. Whether it is seeing their interest to have something to use in future social engineering attacks, or knowledge of services running for lateral movement if you are trying to compromise other devices on their network. You can see we are able to grab the name of the computer, information about the operating system and CPU, how much RAM they have, info on their main board and BIOS, a list of all their local users on their device, hard drive information indicating how much you have to look through, a list of all their common serial devices you can potentially manipulate, everything you need to know about their network from MAC addresses to IP addresses. Again, a list of all their networks, their computer connected to, and what the passwords are for them. A list of all their active TCP connections and ports you can find vulnerabilities for. A list of all their running processes, which may lead to more vulnerabilities. Same with the list of services running, which we obtained. All of their installed software, which could again provide potential vulnerabilities or social engineering tip-offs. A list of their installed drivers, their installed video card, and finally, using the tree command to get a list of every single file stored on their device. This is just the beginning of what is possible. The sheer amount of trust people have with these cables is what makes them so dangerous. In future videos, I will go over how you can use it to install backdoors on the target's computer and maintain access and complete control over their PC from anywhere in the world whether it's exfiltrating files, monitoring their activity, or looking through their webcam. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like. If you want to learn more about the tools and tactics of hackers, please consider subscribing. I am Jacoby. My crime is that of curiosity. And yeah, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. Till next time.